the format of the robot. Note. There are no official Roblox accounts that stand unterminated that represent Tubers93, except for Baby Out Moon 4, created July 2019, or social media accounts that represent Tubers93. Any other accounts you see are frauds. Some accounts that are affiliated with Tubers93 include Telemann Girl 2323, Erasius, Glove World, TXT Tentation, Detest Dute, Stummy Caplet, Unusable Name, .mp4, Andrew 10635. Here is the overview. Tubers93 is a group of friends known to hack Meep City, once in October 2019 and again in February 2020, and using the Roblox API to upload shirts onto the official Roblox account, the John Doe account, and on the Mr. Flim Flam account. They would also release games that would give players free Robux. The latest incident took place in Gas the Logo, and Find the Markers, a game based on a certain BFDI character, Marker. He sent a message in Gas the Logo, made by Aim Fever to troll a popular YouTuber named Creepcraft, and continuing this. The accounts are shared between members of the group. The Origins it isn't known if the Tubers93 commentary channel is related to Tubers93, or if they got the name from this channel. A video called, Who Disliked My Video, is believed to have been uploaded by Tubers93, however it is purely speculation. Another video was uploaded, mentioning how it is now against the law not to own a 1080p monitor, and anyone who does not own one would get arrested and imprisoned. The Accounts Again, there are no Roblox accounts that stand unterminated, except for Baby Out Moon 4, or social media accounts that represent Tubers93. There are no TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube accounts under the name Tubers93 or similar, except for the Discord server which can be found here. Some aforementioned accounts that are affiliated with Tubers93 include Telemann Girl 2323, Erasius, Glove World, TXT Tentation, Detest Dute, Stummy Caplet, Unusable Name, .mp4, Andrew 10635. Pre-Meep City. Before Tubers93 would be known for Meep City 2, they would compromise other games. The most notable instance is Arsenal. On September 28, 2019, an admin game pass would show up, costing 80 Robux. But it gave admin powers but in another game, this was later removed, and Arsenal was normal again. Little Angels Daycare, would also fall victim to Tubers93. The game was renamed to, Little Devil's Daycare, having a demonic and disturbing theme, and a screamer of Jeff the Killer in the game. This was fixed a while later. October 2nd, 2019. One of the most notable compromises, Tubers93 backdoored Meep City, sending many players to a game called, Meep City 2. A Muslim chant could be heard playing, and a tool let players say, Praise Arla numerous times a day, Arla Akbar, then players would explode. Alex Neutron closed down the game, and restored the game to its previous state. February 29, 2020. Meep City would encounter a second compromisation, this time, with different games being involved. One of them was a variant of Meep City with everyone's avatar changed to resemble Adolf Hitler. Another game would take you to a modified version of the Meep City playground, with the avatars of the people behind Tubers93 being added around the map. In addition, players were given a bat and a hamburger. They can use the bat to hit the developer, Alex Neutron, on the pinata in the order to give Roblox Seans free points. Hitting Alex Neutron would cause a female moan to be heard, along with the sound of metal hitting a surface. A morph tube would also let you change your clothes into the style of a homeless person. Meep City's playground was modified to have custom building logos, such as the party's tent changed to, Nepahus Clown House, or the pet shop, while keeping its top sign, had the bone shape sign say, Tubers 93 Slaughterhouse. Another fact is that if you try to leave the server, they will teleport you back, with an ear raping sound of I am mean saying, Lost. Frightened. Confused. Good! <laughs> in the background. A sound playing. You are now entering the realm of Tubers 93. 
would play, either before or after the I am mean audio was added or removed. This game also referenced Kaneko Kevin's video description of the first Meep City compromise. The sign said, one like equals one hope Meep City has another sequel, Kaneko Kevin. This game was also different from the others, as it would not let you leave the oppressing leave game on the Roblox menu. Many believed they were stuck there forever, however, one could disconnect their Wi-Fi to receive the connection lost error, press the home button, or simply use Alt F4 and Command Q. Another was purely a room with a hamburger. Supposedly, there was a fake Roblox panel that would require you to enter your details, however it was later debunked, in a Discord announcement where they stated that they do not see a use in compromising accounts. Some players ended up getting enormous amounts of coins, however they were most likely taken back, after the game was restored to its previous state. April 8, 2020 there was a talk of another Robux game being made prior to this date, however it isn't known if this is true. This game had the player complete the obby template from Roblox Studio, and at the end, would spin a wheel to receive Robux. These games required you to join the group hosting the game, which in turn would pay you out via group funds. This was covered by many YouTubers, including Green Lego Cats 123, Kaneko Kevin, Shark Blocks, Chum Unicorn 64, and others. The group used was called Goofy Goobers, and the group would be locked, not long after the game's release. It had around 66,000 members. April 11, 2020. Using an external website that would record one's voice, and upload it to Roblox, then play it through the player's avatar, Tubers93 would release a voice chat game. This was once again covered by many YouTubers, and was viewed as a demo of what voice chat was, however the voice chat feature implemented by Roblox is more restricted, and not as free as the game. In order to play, one would have to play on the Windows app, or on mobile, to prevent users from exploiting, presumably due to the use of audio logging, one could find the original account uploading the audio files, and terminate it, cutting the supply short. This game met criticism, primarily due to the large use of swearing, however this is still prominent in current Roblox voice chat. The game lasted for an unknown period of time, before being re-uploaded due to it being deleted, most likely due to the content used in the audio. April 20th, 2020. It took only two weeks for the second game to be released, this time with a slightly longer Adi, with two optional Adis to receive a Bloxy Cola and a hamburger in-game. This time, Alberts made a video on it, and the popularity of their Robux games exploded, with their Discord server peaking at around 16,000 members. They would also start beta testing on the next game, given to boosters of the server. The group, Qbert's Quick, was locked at an unknown time during 2021. The group had around 400,000 members, the largest they ever had. August 9, 2020. Albert would be trolling in the game, given admin commands by the developers. Compared to the first two games, there would be a cart ride that would need to be completed in order to receive Robux. The game was met with mixed reception, some saying it was a nice change to the generic hobby, others upset with winners trolling in the spawn area, spamming the carts. The game would be re-uploaded in order to keep players coming, across different groups, including Spongebob Movie, Chief Keef Fan Club, and either Bilbert or Bilbert's Club. On April 30th, 2021, the official Roblox account was seen uploading shirts onto the catalog, but not by them. Many shirts were uploaded by Tubers93, one where they linked their Discord server in one of the t-shirts uploaded named, These Are My Best Friends, containing their mascot, Bilbert the Cow, with the word in capital lettering, Tubers93, on the front. They later uploaded other shirts such as the smiley face from the 2012 April Fool's incident, a troll face, the old Roblox logo with the words Fuck You Roblox in capital letters, a Discord message sent by Eclinus saying, yes, a picture of the Among Us crewmates with similarly themed 90s, and a set of shirts with the dodge image. These shirts received many names, including, Eclinus is my name bro, add me, my username is Tutorial Magnet, Roblox is trash not gonna lie, hey everyone on Twitter, Mr. Flim Flam is finna get banned, yo Kaneko Kevin make a video on this, and, lol, I uploaded a shirt on the John Doe account. The shirt in question contained the same Doge image, the title being, 
Bruh, John Doe isn't even scary. A reference to the March 18, 2017 John Doe rumors that caused Roblox to upload a blog post debunking the myth. More shirts would be uploaded with varying images. These included a picture of Kaneko Kevin's face, Albert imitating the Germa face, the Discord tag of Eclinus, Albert's YouTube profile picture. The shirts uploaded to the Mr. Flim Flam account, for the most part, had the same name and image. Tutorial Magnet is my best friend. May 15, 2021. The final Robux game would be released, instead of having an objective, it would purely ask the player for a Game Pass ID, the amount having to be exactly 100 Robux, or the bot wouldn't purchase it. Due to Roblox adding a restriction to group payouts, along with the ability to lock payouts, the game would have to take a different approach. While not confirmed to be the final game, Roblox may add different measures to counter another game like this from being created, and there has not been another Robux game released to this day. The Discord server also no longer has the Robux Games channel, now being focused on a community rather than just give Robux. February 16, 2022. After Meep City was moderated for the notorious amount of adult content in the party system, Creepcraft played it live after Alex Neutron removed parties. Sometime during his stream, he received 939,393 coins, which is done by Tubers93. Many believed that the 2020 incident would occur again, despite such a minor change in Creek's currency. Find the Markers, a game by the group, Markers Epic Memers, received multiple messages from Tubers93 containing the word HELLO in all capital lettering. It isn't known as to how the Meep City coin alteration or the marker messages were done. Tubers93 also hacked name the logo, sending messages via HD admin. Again, there is no known method on how this was done. In the same time, there are some YouTubers who uploaded the situation over YouTube. In this situation, the map from two years ago was then returned back with some additional changes. Instead of going to the Alex Neutron Pinata, an additional Pinata with the original Roblox character was added. Instead of giving free in-game points, it gave free Robux for those who get the Pinata. A new place of interest was added into the map. This time is from the Meep City 2 game, showing a Muslim mosque called, Tubers 93's Mosque. To enter, Robloxians have to shrink down. Later, you can hear a Muslim chant with players worshipping Tubers93 by using the prey icon. The Trivia Individual members of Tubers93 have hacked other games as well, including Roblox Talent Show. At one point the game would change to Z Kevin's Purple Skittles. Group Recruiting Plaza was also hacked, the map was deleted, players were morphed into Dan the Diamond Minecart, Arla 7 Arla would play in the background, the size of players was changed, and the Meep City 2 map was imported, however it was most likely only affecting one server. A Universal Time was also hacked, however players were not teleported, instead the game had a shout sent throughout the entire server list, containing the invite to the Tubers93 fan club discord server. The A-Girl Jennifer teleport was not done by Tubers93, rather by someone else. You can find a game that has all the previous Robux games at the history of Tubers93 game. Note that this game is not official and it will not give you any amount of Robux or in-game currency. They have also aided Dunskid, former Roblox content creator, in griefing the Roblox community space, including changing the game to Auto Rap Battles Lobby, using an explosive gear, likely providing him an account with voice chat, and supporting him in the My Usernames This Incident. Chloe Games, and others are likely unaware that they are mentioning the account Tubers93S, which is not Tubers93. In the case of Chloe, she used the Tubers underscore 93 Twitter account, which is not Tubers 93, as research. Tubers 93 has spoken with other YouTubers and other known people in the Roblox community. This includes Fave, Clone Trooper 1019, Nathorx, Albert, Dumbskid, Creepcraft, Chiseled and others. The call with Creepcraft can be seen on this timestamp on his stream. During the call, a game on the Fave account would receive an update. In the description, Tubers93 said that if the game were to be taken down, but does not ban Fave, they have bad priorities, specifically taking down a harmless game instead of terminating a predator. 
The game was a modified version of the Happy Home in Robloxia's starter place, with a Tubers 93 World Tour towards the end of Creek's stream, featuring Dr. Rabbit and a hot air balloon. The game is still up and can be visited. Two of the members of Tubers 93, Garkinian and Unverified, created the Harked V2G UI. It can be seen in action at a video, uploaded by Citizen, called, Roblox Exploiting, Breaking Pastries Bakery. There is a released interview that is up to date with Tubers 93, uploaded by Chiseled. It can be found on YouTube.